Dave from Geekanoids and this is video number three in my PC build series and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the motherboard and the CPU. Now a very quick look at the motherboard, I want to introduce you to each of the parts separately. This is the Asus P6X58DE, get a user guide inside the box, we also get a driver CD, so I'm going to put that to one side because I'm going to need that, very important you get some, some good working space around you. We also get a quick start guide, and we get an I.O. panel here, which is going to go into the PC case. We get plenty of SATA cables in the box. We get four regular ones and two 6 gigabyte second uh, SATA cables. We also get some graphic card accessories. Not sure what these are at the moment, but these are probably I.O. panel connections. Uh, these are going to be used for um, probably the LEDs and the speaker, etc. So they're little sort of additions that you add to the motherboard at a later stage. And then in the bottom section, we have got the motherboard itself. And this is a really nice looking motherboard. There we go, that's the motherboard. So you can see the uh, memory expansion slots here. And then we've got the socket for the processor. We've got expansion card sockets here. There's all the I.O. sockets there. We've got a uh, keyboard and mouse, a uh, couple of USB 3 sockets, uh, SP diff and optical out, USB 2, Firewire 400, Gigabit Ethernet, and a couple more USB 2s. And then we've got all of the uh, audio panel there. Now moving on, we've got the Intel Core i7 processor. And inside this box, we have got some instructions for installation, as well as the three-year warranty information. And then inside the packaging itself, I'll just open this very carefully. We have got the cooler for the processor. And then we have got the processor itself. Treat these extremely carefully. You don't want to bend any of the pins on the processor. It's an extremely nice processor there. So let's get this installed. Now one of the tips I received from a friend was to actually install the processor onto the motherboard before it goes in the case. Now this sort of makes sense because it means that you're uh, obviously not working in that confined area. So I'm going to install the CPU and the fan or cooler on the CPU before I put this into the case. So this is the area where you're going to actually install the CPU or processor. And to do this we've got a little arm here which we're going to just take out of this latch and swing round to this position. Then we're going to remove this metal cover and then we've got a protector plate here which we very carefully vertically lift off so that you've got to be careful you don't bend any of the little pins inside. Then we're going to get our processor itself. Now this is the area on the processor that you're not meant to touch so don't go touching this with your fingers. And you'll also notice there's two little cutouts or notches in the side of the board. So we're going to turn this up the right way and line those notches up with the little two little plastic pins that are sticking up on the socket and just lower that into place. So that is now in the correct place. Then we're going to lower this cover back down and hold this down into place. Then put that back in. That's now the processor installed. Then we're going to put the cooler on. This is the cooler and it's already got thermal paste on it. It's got four locating pins here and we're going to put this in this position locating it into these holes. all of the locator pins in and then the instructions telling me simply to push down on each of the P6 
pins but in opposing corners so we're going to do pin number one first push down then number two in the opposing corner till it clicks then number three we do this one first and then number four so they've all clicked into place now removing them you do need a screwdriver you need to just turn them to actually remove it that should have locked this and the thermal paste onto the processor. A lot different to some of the older builds I used to do, you used to have to screw them down so that's a lot easier. I'm going to make the connection onto the motherboard as well. This is the connector for the fan and it just goes onto this connector here. So there we go, so that's the processor and the fan installed. Now I'm going to pop this to one side and then get the case on to the table so that you can see how you install this into the case. So this is our case. We need to do a little bit of preparation first before we put the motherboard in. The first thing is just to put this I.O. panel in the back here. So this is uh, going to give some receptor holes for the various connections on the motherboard. The writing side, so the part with all of these letters on, goes facing outwards. So I'm going to do that now. So that's that panel in place. Now you can also see there's a template here which tells me where to put the mounting screws for the motherboard. And I'm using an ATX case, so I've got to put them in these letters here. So I've got a little bag of, sort of thumb screws here, and it tells me to put one in A, one in A, and then another one in B, which is already one, and then one in C. ready to offer the motherboard up to the case. Okay, so that completes the motherboard and the CPU installation into the case. Hope you found that useful. Please do check back tomorrow where you'll be seeing the next video in this PC build series covering the memory installation. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.